Hello everyone. In this video, I will go over the additional practice for Unit 1 in our workbook. And we will start from page 25. This unit consists of uh, basic exponent, uh, order of operations involving the absolute value, and also solving for simple linear equations. Okay, so let's start with number 1. Number one asked me to evaluate the following expression involving the exponent. So um, I noticed that the uh, this number is odd a little bit here. So you can put A, B, C. So here's 1A, 1B, 1C. So for this question, you raise 3 to the exponent 3. It means that you multiply. 3 by itself 3 times. So in this case you should have 27 or you can just simply use the calculator to figure this out. Okay. Negative 9 to the exponent 2 so don't forget the number 2 is only 4, 9 and the negative stay the way it is. So in this case I should have negative 81. The exponent will tell me how many times I multiply the base by itself so keep that in mind. Um, so the next question is negative 12 squared. So you will have negative 12 times negative 12 because you you raise this entire negative number to the exponent 2. And right here I have the absolute values. Inside the absolute value I only have negative 12 times 12. Okay, because I the exponent 2 in this case is only for the number 12, not the negative sign. So for this part, I should have is equal to positive 144. And inside this absolute value, I should have negative 144. So now don't forget that we are performing the operation using the absolute value. So I would turn this into a normal bracket make that into a positive 144. So in this case, what do I get? I should get a positive 144 and I subtract 144. So my answer should be zero. All right, so let's move on to number two. Number two, number three, number four are using uh, um, the order of operation concept. So what I have here is you need to perform the operation inside the brackets first and after that you can raise to an exponent. But notice that we have negative 2 to the exponent 3. You can do that right away. The answer should be negative 8. Okay. Now inside the brackets, okay, inside this bracket, we need to perform this operation first. Okay. You need to take uh, negative 23 times 6 divided by 3. So I should have the answer as um, 27 minus 17 stay the same. So when you perform this, you should have the answer as uh, 46. Okay. And negative 8 plus uh, 22 subtract 17. Subtract 46 should be negative 41. Okay, all of it square. So because you are squaring a positive, the negative number, your answer should be positive. So it's positive 1681. In the end, my final answer is 1673. So while listening to this video, I would like everyone to also uh, get your calculator and uh, uh, walking along with me to uh, work with this uh, calculators, okay? Work with both uh, the order operations and practice your calculator as well. All right, so for number three, what I have here is I can multiply this two, I can multiply this two and get that uh, operations uh, as absolute values. Uh, the negative will turn into a positive in this case. And this will be my last operation here. Okay. 
So I should have positive 45, subtract 21. In this case, I should have plus 10. So my final answer should be positive 34. All right, so let's move on to this question. Number four, remember for this question, I can rewrite this as, um, uh, I can rewrite this as, or this can be equal to a negative of negative 70 minus 6. The whole thing is divided by um, negative 13 times 2 subtract negative 4 to the 3 all of it in the bracket okay so it means you perform the numerators and uh, make sure the numerator comes to just one single values and denominator to a single values and then divide it one into the other okay so let's start here I should have minus of minus 76 because what you do is you uh, make sure that you have a single digit inside the absolute values first. So underneath I should have negative 26 because I take this times this, okay, and I subtract that with negative 4 raised to the exponent, uh, 3 will be negative 64. So be careful here. So I will turn this into a positive 76 negative 26 plus 64 now so this should give me negative 76 divided by 38 so my answer should be negative 2 okay. number 5 is I have um, a basic algebra given a equal to negative 3 b equal to negative 5 and what I have to do here is substitute this a as negative 3 into this a square, substitute negative 5 into this b as b square, get a, a result inside this absolute value bracket first, then after that take the brackets away, uh, turn this into the positive values and simplify the result. Okay, so I should have negative 15, subtract negative 3 in the bracket square subtract negative 5 in the bracket square minus 7 square so I should have negative 15 minus this should give me a positive 9 okay this should give me a negative don't forget negative 5 all of it square will be positive 25 okay at the same time I can read 7 square so I should have negative um, 49 okay so I should have negative 15 subtract inside the bracket should be negative 16 negative 49 so negative 15 subtract that turn into a positive 16 So continue simplifying. I end up with these three numbers subtracting from each other. So I should have negative 80 as the result. Okay, very good. Okay. So for number six, I just need to perform the following operations as indicated. It means you are going to look for the... Um, uh, like terms and then you connect you co you collect them so that is there's my like term so you write the x down you take negative 9 you uh, subtract you subtract 11 and then you add 1 to give you negative 19 and then my next variable should be the y here okay make sure I include everything so I should have a positive 4y and my last one should be this um, I mean just the number so I would have 8 go to 
beta 6. So negative a, negative 6 should give me negative 14. And up to this point, I can see that I cannot uh, simplify any further because all the terms are different terms. So here's y, here's x, and I don't have anything uh, beside this negative 14. So it's still unlike terms in this case. Okay. So let's go over number 7. I need to expand and simplify. Okay. So expand and simplify. Uh, so if there is distributive rule, I need to make sure that I perform that. So negative 7 times negative 4 should give me positive 28. And negative 7 times negative 3x should give me positive 21x. Still the negative 9 I have to perform. So then you see that this and this are like term, I can take a positive 28 subtract 9. My answer should be 19 and plus 21x. Okay, good. Okay, so let's continue with our um, simplification. Okay, I have this. Make sure that I make an arrow to make sure that I multiply them together. Okay, so negative 17 times uh, negative 3 should give me positive 51. I leave the, the A. Negative 17 times positive A will give me negative 136 B. Okay, next term, negative 4 times 3A should give me negative 12A. And don't forget, it's negative 4 times negative 17. This should give me positive 60AB. Combine the like term, that and that. I should have 39A. So you take 51, you subtract 12. And my last one should be this two number. So I should have negative uh, 136 at 68. So my answer should be negative 68 with the B.